I'm Rochelle Fabian Morgan. In this video, we're going to make a duct tape beach bag. In addition to the sticky stuff, you're going to need parchment paper, detail scissors, a craft knife, a pencil, and a corked back metal ruler. Now this beach bag is a basic tote, but the kind of fabric that we're going to make is a loose weave like this one. Let's get started. Place an 18 inch wide piece of parchment paper on your work table. Add strips of duct tape, first vertically then horizontally. Space them about a half inch apart. When your parchment paper is covered, carefully pull up the edges on either the left or the right side, then flip the fabric over. Remove the parchment paper. Place duct tape strips on the back side, matching the same color pattern if you got a little fancy. Be sure to line up the edges as best as possible. Now, at this point in my own creative process, I decided that my fabric could use just one more vertical strip. So I added it to the front and to the back. Trim the outer edges using a metal ruler and a craft knife. It should be a half inch from the outer edge of the last vertical strip. The top and bottom of the fabric should be trimmed flush to the edges. Repeat steps for a second fabric. When you have two trimmed fabric pieces, place them on your work table with the bottom edge lined up in the center. Place a strip of tape over the seam to connect the two pieces. Flip over and repeat step. I used a different color tape so I could differentiate between the inside and the outside of the bag. Fold vertically and place it on the work table with the folded edge at the bottom. Cut a strip of tape that measures the same as the height of the folded fabric. Unfold the left edge. Vertically place the strip of tape halfway along the edge. Pull back the strip. Using a piece of parchment paper, fold it vertically in half. Carefully refold the fabric. Attach the left edge to the folded strip. This will close up the seam. Cover the seam with a strip of tape. Be sure to place it halfway so you could fold it over vertically. Using detail scissors, trim off any excess tape at the top and bottom. Repeat steps for the right edge, and when you are done, you will have the main part of your beach bag. Cut a strip of tape the length of your wingspan. Fold it in thirds. When folding long strips like this, it is best to use your fingernails. This helps you avoid getting stuck to the tape. Another useful tip is to moisturize your hands, especially the fingertips, before doing any tape folding. Nothing is worse than getting to that last bit and then suddenly, and literally, getting stuck.
You have just completed a bag strap. Repeat step for a second strap. Make two columns of slits on both sides of the bag. Each slit should be one inch long. Each column should be about five to seven inches in from the outer edges. Try to center the slits in each column down a strip on the bag fabric. Take the bag straps and weave each end vertically through the slits. Secure the straps by covering them with tape on the inside of the bag. Here, I used strips of tape that I cut in half lengthwise. Your bag is now complete. So this beach bag is pretty big. In it, I can fit a towel, a good book, a water bottle, sunblock, and sunglasses. I'm ready for the beach. Thanks for watching.